Hi, in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to add a NetBack of primary version 10.2 to Ultra View, which is hosted on Flex appliance. So let's go through the steps I'm going to follow. The first step is download the Flex plugin from the Veritas download location and upload it to the Flex appliance add-on page. Then the Stop the NetBack of primary instance and install the add-on. Then start the NetBack of primary instance and verify the analytic services running inside it. Then add the primary to Alta View and download the registration file from there. And using the registration file, register NetBack of console to Alta View. So let's jump to the action. So I'm logging to the Flex Uplands. So in the application add-on section, we have to use this add add-on uh, button to upload the add-on. So before that, let's download that from the Veritas uh, download location. So this is the Veritas download location from where you can get the file. So the file name is Veritas Alta Connector 11.2. So you have to download it. I have already downloaded it on my local location. So I'll use it to upload. So let's start upload that. I'm going to the Flex uh, plans console again, and I will add the add-on by selecting the plans. So it will take a couple of minutes to upload the add-on to a Flex plans. Then it will show the activity page where it will show the progress. Now we can see the application order is uploaded successfully. We can view it on the repository application order section. So now it is listed on the application add-on section. So the next step is we have to install it on the NBU primary instance. So go to the system topology view. There, we have select the primary which is standard O version. Then we'll stop it. You can monitor the activities. The stop instance will take a couple of minutes. The application is, uh, instance is stopped successfully. Then we will go to the topology view. And I'll click on the instance. Then I'll go to the add-on tab. Then I'll select install and available add-on. You can see the Alta connector is displayed here. You can check this and click next. Then 
then I was click install Now you can see it is listed here on the add-on section of the primary instance page. So now we have to start the primary instance. So I'll again go back to system topology view and select the primary instance and start it. Again, it will take a couple of minutes to start the instance. Now you can see the instance started successfully. Then again, we'll go back to the system topology view. I can see the state of uh, the system is online. I can log in. Uh, the NetBack console of the system. can take that now we can able to log into the wavy way let's try that the next step is add this domain to alta view So I log in to the Alta view. And I will navigate to the domain page. And there I will select our domain. And I will provide the domain name here. Select the data center and click add. The next phase, I will download the registration file. Note this registration file is required to register the primary on Alta. Then let me log in to my primary. I do the SSS to the primary. And I will offload that file, the registration file here. I need to sudo for root permission.
the next steps we have to check whether the service analytic service is running or not the service is running so the addon is installed uh, installed successfully when i started the primary so the next step is register for register we have this script ultra connector.ss so i'll use this script on this command i'll provide the registration file location that is App admin then I will click enter now you can see the registration is successful for the primary in all talk. so there are commands where we can see the status to get registration data collection status so it is say the web socket connection is connected the same we can check on the alta view so i'll go back to the alta view and search the primary name here and you can see the state is connected with that i'm going to end this video